Let's see how we can improve Vim's search functionality. So to start searching for something, we firstly have to press slash, and then we'll get search input at the bottom left corner of the window. And now we can start typing search query and press enter to run the search. And then we can navigate between search results by using keys N to go to the next match and shift N to go to the previous match. But of course it is not convenient if those search results are not highlighted. So I prefer to always highlight search results after we run the search. And to do this, I'm gonna add the following setting called HL search. And now let's source this configuration file by using sequence of keys that we have defined in the previous lesson, space C S. Go back to the previous file. And right away we're seeing that all search results have been highlighted. And anytime I'm going to run new search, we'll see that new search results will be highlighted. That is the behavior that I prefer. Also, it would be good to remove this highlighting whenever we need. So to make it possible, I'm going to add another mapping. I'm going to assign the functionality to remove highlights from search matches to escape key like this. And the command we have to run to remove the highlighting is called no HL search. To activate this command, we also have to press enter at the end of this command. Actually, let's try to remove the highlight by running this command manually in the command mode. So let's activate command mode by pressing colon and run no HL search command and press enter. And right after that, we can see that all search matches are not highlighted anymore. Now let's not forget and source configuration file once again by pressing space CS. Switch over to the previous file and run the search again. So all search results have been highlighted. And now I can easily remove this highlighting by pressing enter. It worked. So we can move on and add other settings. By default, when we search for something, this search is case sensitive. I'd like to make it case insensitive. So I'm gonna switch over to configuration file and add the following setting to make the search case insensitive by default. And the setting that we need is called ignore case. Let's check it out. I'm going to run the search, but this time I'm going to use all lowercase letters. And even though there are no such words with all letters lowercase, we still have found some words, those that start with capital letter. So the search is case insensitive now by default. But of course, it's good to have such option to run case sensitive search when needed. And thankfully there is such option in Vim that can make search case sensitive when we will use at least one letter capitalized in our search query. But actually before doing that we have to activate smart search. So in here I'm going to add a comment and then let's apply the setting called smart case. This is the setting that will make search case sensitive in case we're going to use capital letter in the search query. So to demonstrate case sensitive search, I'm going to make first letter of the third word up lower cased. And now we'll run the search by using word up where the first letter will be capitalized. And this way we have found only two matches. So the last word, which had only lower cased letters, have not been included in search matches. So this search was indeed case sensitive. At the end, let's add one more useful option also related to search functionality, which will enable so-called incremental search, because right now, in order to search for something, we have to firstly type in the whole search query and then press enter manually to run the search. But I prefer to run the search automatically at the moment. I'm gonna start typing. And as I'll be typing, the search results will be revealed. And the setting that we need to add to enable this incremental search is called ink search. Let's source the new changes, go back to the previous file and start searching for something. And right away we're seeing that as I'm typing search results are highlighted automatically and I don't even have to finish my search query or press enter. And for me this kind of behavior is more preferable 
when it comes to searching. And that's about it for this lesson where we have reviewed several options related to searching functionality.